Hello, welcome to this video cast about uh, how to upgrade MySQL InnoDB cluster to a newer version. So we have a running cluster here with three members, MySQL 1, MySQL 2, MySQL 3. And we have one application which is writing on MySQL 1 and reading to MySQL 2 and to uh, MySQL 3. So it uses MySQL 1 as a the, uh, single writer because we are running in single primary mode. So now let's connect to one of our nodes. So I will connect to MySQL uh, 1. I use the credential I've created for uh, administrate this cluster. As you can see I'm uh, running 5721. I use the same version on all the three nodes. And I want to show you my uh, cluster that my cluster is running. And as you can see, MySQL 1 is read write because it acts as a single primary master, and the other ones are read only because they are secondary master. So the goal will be to upgrade uh, MySQL uh, 3 first, then MySQL 2 and MySQL 1. We end uh, by uh, the primary master every time. So let's connect first to uh, MySQL 3. As you can see, it runs 5.7.21 also, right? Application is still running. I will check from the group application because uh, in performance schema we can see um, which are the um, members online. So I select in replication, group, members, and I will see that MySQL 1, MySQL 3, MySQL 2 are online. Don't forget this is 5721. I will also connect the shell on MySQL 2. Using exactly the same credential. You can see it runs also 5721 as expected. Let's create this cluster uh, variable uh, and assign it from the cluster running. I will check the status of it. The status is exactly the same. And as you can see, MySQL 1, it's still the Premier Master. We haven't changed anything yet. I want to show you that in my CNF we have nothing related to the group or to the cluster yet. Because it was not saved, so we could maybe create this cluster without saving anything. So we're going to save it uh, for all members, it's safer. So I will use configure local instance and it will modify uh, everywhere. So this is required on all version or, uh, until 8.04. So now we have all the information on group application here. So our cluster, uh, we have all the information we need. So we're going to use this new, the new util check for server upgrade uh, function in MySQL shell to see if we have issue with the data we have. And so nothing wrong, we can't uh, upgrade. So I will uh, stop MySQL D on uh, MySQL tree. I want to show you the status. So MySQL tree is online, and of course, as soon as you can see, we are still reading, writing MySQL one, reading on MySQL two. So the next time we should read normally. If everything is okay, we should read on MySQL two, but uh, MySQL tree. But here we read again on MySQL two, because MySQL tree it's out of the cluster as you can see in the status is missing so so far so good 
Now we're going to upgrade to MySQL 8. So we're going to use the MySQL 8 community repository. So MySQL 8 community. And I want to upgrade MySQL community server. Let's run it. So we are replacing now all the binaries and we upgrade them to uh, 8.0 as you can see on the repository currently 8.04 it's available so this is uh, the RC we're gonna use application always running of course but only on the two nodes we have uh, still online Now I will modify uh, my CNF and uh, I will remove these uh, uh, settings because it's not present in 8.0 anymore. It was very unsafe. So uh, we decide to remove it. And uh, I will also um, uh, put uh, disable the start group application on boot because I want to run my SQL upgrade without uh, interfering with the group. Every time you upgrade uh, MySQL, you need to run MySQL upgrade, right? So I will now start MySQL D. It's okay, I can run MySQL upgrade. Don't forget, we upgrade to MySQL 8 with the new data dictionary. Uh, so uh, there is uh, system tables to change. So it is uh, mandatory to restart after MySQL upgrade uh, MySQL. Now that the upgrade, MySQL upgrade is done, we can also start group application at boot. So we're gonna uh, restart MySQL because it's uh, mandatory after the MySQL upgrade. And we're going to check uh, if it comes back online. Yeah, it's still missing because we need, it's not restarted yet. As you can see, it's recovering now. So it will get all the data from the binary logs, from all the data that is was written while it was offline. And now we can see that the application is already reusing uh, MySQL tree. Application is using uh, MySQL router to connect to the cluster. So we connect now on our new um, MySQL member here. So the, the upgraded one, so MySQL tree. And you can see we are running 804 and uh, securely, because as you can see here, uh, we are using SSL to encrypt our connection because this is the default now on MySQL 8. We can check, of course, the status if we want, but uh, let's see first here the new performance uh, schema uh, table because uh, in 8.0 we have enhanced them and group uh, replication group members now will also display um, the the, um, uh, the role of it and the version of it so we can see that uh, MySQL tree now is running 804 other ones are still are running 5721 so what's next next will be to do exactly the same on MySQL 2 so let's do it We will check the upgrade. It's exactly the same node, so nothing uh, different here. To be more safe, it's always, uh, let's say, recommended to use uh, in a, to disable InnoDB fast shutdown when uh, you will um, perform an upgrade. So I want to show it to you now. So we'll do global InnoDB fast shutdown equals zero, and I will set it there. So it means that uh, when I will stop all the data that has to be written on the uh, from the reader log and it will be written in the, in the InnoDB table space. So let's do that. 
and uh, let's stop to MySQL D on MySQL 2. As you can see, MySQL 2 was uh, is still using uh, on the application. Now that I've stopped it, uh, last time you read it was on MySQL 2. So application use only MySQL 3 and MySQL 1 now, and we can start the update of the binaries on uh, MySQL 2. So let's upgrade MySQL to MySQL 8. So this is what's happening. In fact, we'll do exactly the same as we did uh, on MySQL 3. So in my CNF, again, I do exactly the same. So I put start on boot uh, off for the group application and I uh, comment this allo local, this join GTIDs joins, which is not supported anymore. I start my SQL. I need to do the upgrade. Now I can say start on boot for group application after the upgrade is done. I'm restarting my SQLD. As you can see, during this upgrade, uh, MySQL 2 was not accessed by the application. Now it's in recovery mode, so it retrieves all the data it was missing. That happens during uh, its offline period. And now it's 8.04 and uh, we are the application is reading uh, from it too. So finally, we go to the primary master and we do exactly the same. So we are writing on this machine, so it's always better to set in a DB fast shutdown to, uh, to zero. So we disable it. We will stop MySQL D. We can see, uh, I want to show the status also of it. So let's connect on MySQL 2 to show you the status. So we can see now that the primary master is of course still MySQL 1 is the note in read write, uh, read write. We can see the application was writing on MySQL 1. Now something happened. We can get the information back. And we can see that now it's the application is writing on MySQL 3 because MySQL 3 is the read write node. We can check in the group application uh, table. So first was MySQL 1 primary and now the primary it's MySQL 3. And we do exactly again uh, the same uh, procedure, which means we enable the binary files to MySQL 8. So we will use the repository MySQL 8 community and we upgrade MySQL community server. Let's run it. Application, of course, still running, writing on MySQL 3, reading every time on MySQL 2.
Okay, it's done. We do same modification in MyCNF. So we will tell it to not start on boot because we need to run MySQL upgrade before it joins uh, the group. And we will comment the previous variables that we don't support anymore, which is core application allow local disjoint GTIDs join. So, because this is completely unsafe. We start MySQLD. When it's done, we will run the MySQL upgrade. Okay, everything is done. We will put we will enable group application to start at boot again. And as we have done MySQL upgrade, very important, don't forget, we need to restart MySQL D. So let's restart it. Let's have a look on the, uh, on the group and on the cluster status, what's going on. Restart is happening. It's restarted. MySQL 1 is still missing. Up and it's in recovery mode. Here it's there too. MySQL 1 is back online. We can see in the application too, we are reading from it. It's now secondary master and it has been upgraded to 804. So we are all in 804. Thank you for watching. I hope uh, you enjoy it. Thank you very much.